47 to 21. There's a lot that goes into a 26 point loss that happened to the Vols on Saturday. From a statistics standpoint, Tennessee actually played better on third downs than the Gators did. 8 of 18 compared to the Gators 3 of 11. More passing yards for the Vols, more first downs on Saturday, and fewer penalties. But that all goes out the window when you have six turnovers. Jeremy Pruitt frustrated and telling it like it is after the game. You know, when you continue to let people run and hit the quarterback in the back when he's not looking, eventually he's going to drop the ball. You know, it's something we focus on every day, trying to get them, uh, trying not to give them up. And for us to have success, uh, we need to be on the other side. We need to be in the, in the plus four. To go with the loss, Tennessee also dealing with some sideline drama on Saturday. Vols linebacker Corte Sapp left the sidelines and went into the locker room during the game. Jeremy Pruitt was asked about that afterwards, and he said he asked Sapp to leave the sidelines because Sapp refused to go in the game. He did. He left the field during the game because he wouldn't go into the game when he went, when was asked to go in. So I don't know how things were done before, but you know when you tell somebody to go in, all right, and they refuse to go in. We're not going to do that around here. So um, I asked him to leave. He didn't leave on his own. I asked him to leave. Pruitt added that he's not ready to say whether Sapp is still going to be on the team or not when the Vols take a road trip to Georgia next weekend. Big picture. 47 points scored for the Gators on Saturday. That marks just the fifth time in history in the 48 meetings that Tennessee and Florida have played where the Gators have put 40 points or more on the Vols and the first time since 2007. At Neyland Stadium with the Vols, Marshall Hughes, WATE6 on your side sports.